This is 2D Design with Rob Colvin. We are continuing our form assignment and we are going to paint an organic shape and give it form. This is what it will look similar to when we are finished. So this is the finished one I've already done. And here is the file that is in our assignment page that you will download. It is a PSD file. You will open it up in Photoshop and you will see that it has these four layers, a background, a value scale bar, and the organic shape, and this tubular shape. To begin with, we are going to add clipping masks to these three layers. So I will Put a layer on top of that and I will press Option, Alt on your PC and I will hover between and get that symbol for a clipping mask and click. I will then add a clipping mask to the other two layers and I will double click on the lettering to give each layer a title to keep them straight. I am going to choose my organic shape clipping mask. And I will press B for brush. And I'm going to make sure I have the brush that I want. So I'll go up here and click on this. And I want the soft round. I will close that. And I am going to right click. I want my hardness to be at zero. And I'll adjust the size when I get started. So I am going to put my opacity up here you know, close to 70 and I'll have my flow at around 75 so I am ready to begin painting first I'm going to press option and get this color and I will make my brush bigger and I'm going to select a lighter value up here in my color window and begin painting. I am using the stylus on the Wacom pad. So our light is coming from this direction. So there will be a highlight edge around here. We'll catch some light here. There'll be a shadow here. We'll catch light over here and this is our shadow side but we'll have a core shadow with reflected light. I will speed this portion of the video. I'll begin painting. This area here is catching more light as well as this top edge and this left side edge. I'm going to lighten my value a bit more. I will speed it up here a second or two, but there's one thing I noticed that I need to correct. There's a cast shadow here that would be cast from this tubular shape. So I'm going to pick that dark value and paint it back in. I will pick this color again and make it a value shade lighter. Start painting my highlight areas with a lighter value and establishing where they are. Remember what I can do is pick in between two values and try to even out the transition between the values. It's a lot of back and forth. I'll then make my value a shade lighter and continue painting. I'm speeding this up. But you can see that I am establishing my highlight areas. I'm going to reduce my opacity to about 40 for smoother transitions between values. Then I will pick a lighter value and shift towards green for a warmer color. So the general rule is things in light are warmer. That's why I move towards green because it is a warmer color. So blue shifting towards green will make my values in the light areas warmer and they come forward. Then pick a lighter value and shift towards green again. I will make my brush a bit smaller and with that lighter value and warmer color I'm going to touch up on my highlight areas. I'm going to reduce my opacity even more down to about 29 and I'm going to pick in between values and smooth transitions out. I will press option and pick in between value shifts to get a in between value so I can smooth out those transitions. 
I'm going to pick my value in the core shadow, go over to my color window and make the value even darker. I will reduce my brush size and keep my opacity at 29. I will begin filling in those core shadows with a darker value to enliven my colors and make them look more rich with a better contrast from the core shadow to the highlights. I'm going to pick my lightest value with my color picker, go over to my color window and make my value lighter, reduce my brush size a bit, and I'm going to start working on my highlight edges, areas where the light is going to hit the most, creating highlights. I'm going to reduce the opacity down into the teens, make my brush a bit bigger. I'm going to pick values that are in between the lighter and darker values and try to smooth out transitions so I don't have hard edges between value shifts. So you can see I'm speeding up the video here for the sake of time. Going to my color window and pick a lighter value. Reduce my brush size. I'm going to work on my highlights here, make them even brighter where the light would be hitting. I'm going to up the opacity and make those highlights even brighter and try to smooth out edges so they look round, not hard. So it's a lot of give and take, back and forth, smoothing out edges, transitioning from lighter values to darker values. There will be reflected light on the outside edge of this shape here. So we want to get that value. I will press Option and pick that color. I will pick a lighter value and shift more towards blue. I will start putting in my reflected light. I think I need to up the opacity a bit and fill in that reflected light around the right side edges and on the bottom and also inside the loop here. I will add reflected light. I'm going to start adding my background so I'll select that layer and add a layer on top of that make my brush bigger and make my image smaller. I'm going to grab that value in the darkest part of the shape and start painting in the background with that same color. My color is a bit too blue for the background. I will do Command U and get this hue and saturation. I'm going to push it towards violet and I'm going to grab that color there and start painting that color in. Now with the background in, I can see that my reflected light is a bit too light in value, so I'm going to need to reduce that value a touch. So I guess I will need to make my brush smaller and of course go back to the layer with the mask for the organic shape. And then I will choose the value there and go back over to my color window and choose a little bit darker value and start making that darker. Once I get that corrected I'm going to choose that value in my core shadow and I'm going to correct some areas that need to be redefined and go back and forth with Reducing opacity, that way I can get smoother transitions with less opaque values and smooth out transitions so I don't have hard edges between a value and another value. I'm going to select my tube mask layer and start painting that tube. So I'll select the core shadow value and I'll start putting in a core shadow on that tube shape. And I'm going to speed this up for the purpose of time. You can see I'm grabbing a lighter value now and putting in my highlight 
values and gradually making it lighter and lighter, trying to keep a smooth transition as I go, always adjusting edges so that I don't have hard transitions between dark and light. I want nice smooth transitions so that it looks round. And using the option button to get my color picker to pick all the values I need to smooth things out. Okay, so I'm going to go back to my shape mask and I'm going to pick my brightest highlight and I'm going to go lighter and a little bit more towards green, warm it up and I'm going to make my brush smaller to put on some brighter, let's go even brighter. I'm adding some bright highlights. And I'm going back to my tube and make my brush smaller. I'm going to grab that highlight, put it in, make it brighter, put it in here. I'm going back to the shape mask. And I'm going to pick the highlight and make it a bit towards white and add a highlight here. And I can press Option and grab colors in between those values to help smooth it out. Take a look from further away to get a better view. Now I'm going to my mask for my tube and I'm putting a more of a highlight in the center of that tube. I'm going to pick my value scale mask and make my brush bigger. I'm going to up the opacity to around 60. I'm going to grab that light value there, make it a little bit lighter. And I will begin painting the value scale. So I'm going to speed this up. You can see I'm grabbing colors from the shape and also grabbing colors in between values so that I eliminate hard edges or hard transitions to soft transitions. Now I will add some finishing touches to all parts of the image. I will jump between layers and reduce opacities and just try and get a smoother transition between values, brighten up highlights, adjust shadows, adjust edges. So what I'm trying to do is make it look finished and I will choose the background and make my brush larger. I want a darker value there, so I'm gonna up the opacity and add in some darker values. Now that I am done, I will save it with all my layers as a PSD. So I'll click OK and I'll save and I will go to Layer and Flatten Image. And I want to go to Save As Again and put my name on the file to submit for the assignment and save it as a JPEG. Click Save. Just one more thing, I feel like my darker values look a bit dull. So I want to make them a bit darker. I'll go to Image, Adjustments, and Exposure. Now I want to grab the middle button and push the offset a little bit to the left and you can see my darker values getting richer. I'll grab Gamma Correction, push it to the right and you can see it adding darker values there. So I like that, so I'll click OK. Now I'm going to do Command Z and step back. You can see the difference. Command Z, step forward, and I like that. So I'll do Command S and save, and we are done.